All right, gang. Well, um, this is a how-to video, and I'm going to show you how to test lamps in a Williams System 11. Um, this is an old trick that we learned from uh, Clay and his repair guides, and I always like to use this when I have a lamp transistor I think is bad. So I figured I'm restoring a taxi here. Some of you see my other videos, but uh, there was one column of lamps that were out, and I'll show you the schematics here in a second, but I would notice this one up here right away, this, this little guy right there, and then all of these guys. I'm like, what the heck? I put this brand new ramp in, and none of them worked. I never even thought to check them. They were working before, I think when I shorted, I may have shorted a lamp socket somewhere. So at any rate, um, got problems. So we're going to show you how to check to see if the transistor's bad on that column. Okay, here's the ta taxi lamp matrix. And if you look over here, sorry, where's my finger? Right over here. This column right here, column 8. Uh, I got... The Williams Pinball Palace, that's the one that I showed you in the corner, and then all the spin-out lamps right there are out. So I suspect this is, this. it tells you in the lamp matrix guide, you can see my finger right there, it's Q52. Q52 is probably bad. Those are all TIP42 transistors, and those fail, um, those aren't really that uncommon to fail. I've, I've repaired a bunch of those over the years, but... Um, so I have some tip 42s in my toolkit at all times, but it's interesting to note, um, there's a cool test you can do. Clay used to do this. And so I figured I'd show you guys, he used to put it in his guides. I don't, I don't think I know if his guides are out there anymore, but, uh, you might be able to find them. So anyway, I just drew this up real quick. Basically, you're going to take a lamp socket that works from the game. Got to be working and two alligator clips. You clip one lead to either side. doesn't really matter which side. Then you go up here and you're going to take a diode and you're going to clamp it to one of the uh, leads and the banded side is going to be clipped here. So you can see the, whoops, focus. The banded side of the diode is on that clip and the unbanded side is right there. And we're going to hook that on a pin and then we're going to clip this little guy to a pin. So we're going to start, oh, the diode is a 1N4004. Uh, you can probably use a 4001, I'm sure it would work, but I just, I have a bunch of those 4004s, so I just use one of those. MPU plugs, IJ6, or I'm sorry, 1J6 and 1J7. Um, one is for the rows and one is for the columns. So we're going to test the specific one that I showed you there. So just so, for posterity, here's kind of what you do. You build this little thing, and we're going to test and see if that transistor is bad. First things first is you're going to put this in all lamp test. It's test number three, so that's inside your coin door. If you don't know how to do that, I actually have my coin switches out because one of them was goofy, so I had to fix it. But essentially, those coin switches will allow you to go into test, and you're going to put it in all lamps test. And it's just going to blink every controlled lamp. So as you can see, every controlled lamp. Now, I'm using the Dracula one here that's not blinking. I'm using, That's my lamp socket I'm using. So it should say that on your screen. A all lamp test. So we're going to start there. So here's a zoom out of the board. Here's your MPU board. You're going to go to IJ 1J6, 1J7, which is right there. These two, boom and boom. Those are your two plugs you're going to take off and test. So I have my connector to pin one on IJ6. So I just clipped it there. That's the rows. And here's the columns. Now I'm suspecting one of my columns is bad, so it should be one of these, right? We know it's column eight. This is pin one, so I'm guessing it's gonna be this one up here. But just for posterity, here's my lamp. Here's what happens when I touch. Whoa. See what happens? All I'm doing is touching one. Be careful not to short those together, okay? So let's just check another column. Okay, so that, that means my transistor's good because it's flashing. What happens when I go over here to this one? No flashy. See that? That's the one I suspect. So that tells me Q52 is probably bad, right? Q52, I'll show it to you here on the board in a second, but let's test a couple more rows just to be safe. Okay, so, so let's take a look at Q52. 
Now Q52 right here is this one up at the very top. So where's it on the board? It's this row right here. Well, I cut myself. This row right here, and it's this guy. Now these two guys were touching each other, which isn't a big deal because they're just grounding out, but it leads me to believe that this was replaced before. So there could be another problem happening. I don't know. We're going to try it. There's some other things. There's a pre-driver uh, transistor, and there it goes. I just barely touched it, and that's probably my problem. And if you look closer, underneath that, yep, that pre-driver transistor's out, and there's corrosion on it. So, again, that's probably pointing to my issue. Let's see if let's get it fixed and see what happens. All right, real quick to wrap this up, I I didn't film the last part. It, my camera was messing up, but I did replace Q51 and Q52, uh, what I was just showing you earlier. I replaced that tip, that 42, um, and so I always keep a a bunch of these in my my toolbox, my toolkit. So anyway, it did work, and I got the row work or the column working again. So just another. Um, quick reminder that just take a look at your schematics um, and take a look at the manual and a lot of times you'll find out look at everything in that string and and uh, that I was showing you earlier and a lot of times you can find the bad component and in this case it dripped down from the batteries right it came down here because I had replaced one of these PIAs right here this one looked like it had been replaced and this one was socketed so I replaced the PIA already and some of this stuff was pretty clean but this didn't last so my guess is when those batteries barf they like to barf down and the the gas when those batteries out gas the gas goes this is the bottom of the board the gas will go sit in the back box and a lot of these components at the bottom of your MPU can be corroded because of that outgassing of these batteries um, and that, that that gas is heavier than air it sits at the bottom of your of the head and rots that stuff away a little bit. So you can all, if you have a weird like one column or switch working, check the connectors first. Then you can go check this kind of stuff. Uh, but those batteries on this taxi did a number on the game. So anyway, you guys have a great one and we'll talk soon. Happy pinballing.